This meme popped up on my wall this morning on my Facebook feed. I think my cousin posted it, but I just wanted to address it because if you follow me, you've been following me for years. I've been saying this for years. Bullying. Bullying does not just happen to kids. It happens to adults too. So even when you leave school, you may one day face the bully, okay? But if you've been following me for years, I've been promoting the cure to bullying. I've been giving the shield, the armor to bullying to all my students. That's right. That's the cure. <laughs> Not Evolve Academy specifically, but jujitsu specifically. And I know I sound like a broken record when it comes to jujitsu. Jiu-Jitsu more so than any other martial arts. And most of you guys already know, I do a lot of martial arts, different ones. And I still believe everybody should do stand-up martial arts. But if you had to pick one specifically for self-defense, it will always be Jiu-Jitsu. And I'll tell you why. Okay. And most of you guys that do Jiu-Jitsu, this is where you can just hit off, cut the video. Because I'm going to go into the Jiu-Jitsu spiel. Okay, now this isn't a comparison. Okay, so don't get to where you think that I'm putting down any other stand-up martial arts because I, you need that, okay? But if you had to pick one, I would say Jiu-Jitsu because a few reasons. Let me go with number one. Number one, Jiu-Jitsu is a self-defense martial arts. What does that mean? If you think about Thai boxing, which I love, this is what we do, okay? So we get in a confrontation. So we've already escalated it. Yes, I've elbowed you, I've kneed you, headbutted you, punched you. How are we gonna calm down a confrontation after you're all bloody, I'm all bloody? You just not. Jiu-Jitsu, control. If I have to get you on the ground, control. But it can end pretty peacefully, okay? so. That's number one. Number two, 150 pounds of. Imagine 150 pounds versus 200 pounds. Who's going to win? That's right. Big man, big man, little man, big man. All things equal is going to win if it comes down to this. But in Jiu Jitsu, that's not always true, okay? Big man, little man. We go to the ground, even if all things are equal, the little man still can nullify a lot of what the big man does. So that's number two. Number three, this is the only martial arts that I've ever seen where we can go 100%. What do I mean by that? When we slap hands, touch hands on the mat, respect, and we go live, you're trying to choke me, I'm trying to choke you, you're trying to arm lock me, heel hook, yeah. We're going live, we're going at it. That right there, I think, more so than any other martial arts. Because if the big guy and me go 100% every night, I'm walking away with the headache, the black eyes, the, the CTE, whatever you want to call it. You're just not able to go to 100%, even if it's two big guys and they're sparring with all the pads. Two big guys, they're still walking home with some injuries, but not in jiu-jitsu. Okay, we can go 100% every time we come into to the dojo, the academy, and get on the mat, which builds this incredible armor of self-confidence. Back to the bullying. The bully, he doesn't look for that guy with the armor, with the shield. He doesn't, he just doesn't. He looks... For the guy that doesn't have the armor. So he can impose his physical domination on him. But if you have this armor shield, we got to keep everything out of the physical realm. It's got to stay in the verbal realm. So even if we get heated in the debates, it never goes above the verbal. You got to either disagree, agree to disagree, or you got to have a better debate point, skill, whatever, but you, you're just not gonna go into the physical realm with somebody that has that armor, that shield of jujitsu. So I guess this kind of turned into a jujitsu advertisement. But remember, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate from this, but 
jujitsu is the only martial arts I've ever done. And if there's something else out there, tell me, I'll go try to discover it. But that gives you that, that shield, that blanket to where the bullies can't bully. They got to keep it in the, the verbal realm. And you're, you're just not going to, if you, if you try to take it to the physical realm, you're just not going to be scared to go there because you do it every single night. You, you turn people into human pretzels. I mean, listen, Mr. Bully, let's not go there. That's, that's just what I do every night. Anyways, hope you guys got something out of this. Make it a great day.